Put out that fire, please! Hello, everybody, and welcome back to RimWorld in Banshee's Pass. In the last video, we got raided twice! I'm still thinking I may want to crank up the difficulty just to make this series pretty entertaining, but... Uh, it was definitely a lot more stressful than I'm accustomed to lately, so... There we go. But, homeboy the Boom Rat saved our bacon, and we will never forget him for that. All right, let's go to the floors and let us remove some flooring as somebody was telling me to do. And you're correct, we could just get some free blocks by doing so. Let's go ahead and remove all that flooring, that'll be nice. Keep working on the walls, keep trying to get some basic defenses going up. One thing we're going to want to do is remove all these chunks so that there's no more cover for our opponents. But in the meantime, let's just keep building what we can. Uh, somebody was telling me, you know, now that we've seen how effective the boom rats were, I mean, can you imagine what would happen if we were to uh, tame some boomalopes? Those would be real explo expo uh, explosive. There we go. I just got distracted by my wife laughing. You think that you think boomalope is funny? Yeah. Boomalope is kind of funny. Look at him. Look at him. I don't even know what they, they look really weird, but they got these bulbous they sacks like, on them. They look like really fat camels. Really fat camels. <laughs> How about really cancerous camels? I mean, look oh, at that. No. There's an the asymmetric tumors all over the darn things. It's great. Yeah, no, that's actually not a bad idea. If I were able to get um, enough food to, like, take care of them, then taming a few boomalopes. So with the, uh, stop laughing, I'm getting distracted. With the express purpose of sicking them on people and kamikazeing them, wouldn't be that bad of an idea. Just create, like, a little animal pen over here and we'll feed them. And to that extent, what I've thought about doing here is going to our butcher table and what we can do is make kibble. Now, what I've tried doing here is saying the kibble has to be made primarily out of corn and hay. Now, it wants to try using things like meat and stuff, but, I mean, I don't know. Combining raw meat and plants, maybe. I mean, I don't know. Do we want to use our meat? I guess we could just accept almost any form of meat. He can't make it out of just corn, right? I mean, it does say it has to be a mix, so... I guess we'll allow that, but... Yeah, making some kibble and stuff that will go a long way to um, feeding the animals. I mean, it might be worth it. Might be worth it. Maybe, maybe we could train up some boomalopes and kill things. All right, so it looks like they want us to destroy a camp, which is somewhere on the planet, which now has to generate, which we can never do because we don't have the caravans. So that's completely worthless to me at this point in the game. I was surprised last week with the sheer number of people who were like, Whoops, another fire, of course, why not? With the sheer number of people who were saying, uh, go ahead and restart the series, or start back at episode two, get caravans. Honestly, I don't think it's that important. I mean, caravans could be fun, don't get me wrong, but I don't know, I, I don't see it as an absolute necessity in order to have some fun with this game. I mean, caravans are a relatively recent feature that were added into RimWorld. We went for a very long time without any of that stuff. So, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not really inclined to do that. I think we'll be okay as it is. We can still win the game. I mean, it's not like we have to go to the uh, North Pole and take advantage of that spaceship. Nah, we'll be, we'll be a-okay. Anyway, so we removed the floor. Got a lot of blocks. That'll be pretty nice. That limestone could be useful. We'll probably use it to go ahead and fence this area off relatively soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need a research project. I'm aware. But, at least for the time being, I think it would be good for you guys to, I don't know, chop down the wood I told you to, and go and, like, make the walls so we can build out some more workspaces, so we can make some drugs, and sell it to a bunch of people, and that's how we're going to make our income. We'll become the Drug Lords of Banshee's Pass. It'll be excellent. Hello, steel. 32 steel for that one tile. It's not too bad. What's going on here, though? This isn't rendering a corner. There's something open here. Hmm... Not too sure what that's supposed to be, but it's interesting. Yeah, I'm not sure what we want to do about the Luciferium. I think we want to burn this, honestly. Don't gather up the Luciferium, either let it decay or toss it into a fire, burn the drugs and all that. Probably better. You gotta like how these guys are um, sleeping in their bed and getting some lovin' with their cowboy hats on. Maybe that's a kink, you know? Shut up, and Yali! You, if, you're, if you can't be silent, then you're just, you, you can't be in here. <laughs> <laughs> She's so disapproving. She's so disapproving. The judgment, I can just feel it radiating off of her right now. But seriously, though, I mean, I don't know. I, I'm not saying that I approve. It's just sort of what they're doing. Anyway, they are grown adults. They can do whatever they want. It's fine. So do you want to go ahead and start growing some more hay grass and really commit to this idea of training up a bunch of boomalopes? 
I mean, we could do it. The thing is, I'm not sure how much hay grass we get out of the crop that we currently have. We also have plenty of corn. So, vegetation isn't necessarily the big problem. Maybe kill a gazelle or two or something like that, you know. Get a little extra meat so we can make some good kibble, but... Yeah, we'll use that to feed up our, um... Feed our warg, feed our boom rat. And once we've actually been able to chop down some trees and get this stuff built, then I will concern myself with taming some boomalopes. Also, walls. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and say that I think the, uh... I think that security is gonna be more important to me at this point. So, let's go to structure. Let's try building some limestone walls. Now, it says that we don't have enough stored, but that's because it's not in our storage area. There's plenty of blocks up here that they should automatically prioritize. So, let's do something kind of like this. Probably. Probably good. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do that. And that's the wall we'll have to build. Eventually, we're going to have to tear this area down, but I am almost positive that there are deadly mechanoids inside of here. So, we'll hold off on that until I am far better armed. Sarai, someone was telling me we should arm you, and they're absolutely correct, we should. Even though you are terrible at combat. Did we get any guns, actually? I see some clubs. I saw Molotov cocktails. I see another club. I see grenades. We didn't actually get any guns out of those last two raids that came by. I'm gonna have her equip the frag grenades, though. She may be a terrible aim, but the good thing about explosives is you don't need great aim. They just need to be in the general vicinity, and then the explosives will take care of the rest, right? Seems like a winner to me. Hey, kibble! Good. The kibble goes a long way. You can make a lot of kibble out of a small amount of food, so I think that'll be fine. Smoke leaf leaves. They don't spoil for quite some time, but we probably should turn that into something useful. Dry it out like proper tobacco. How'd the corn get left out here in the middle of the field? I don't know if I understand that, but all right. Good. Walls are going up. I'm going to go ahead and say that we want to haul some of this crap out of here. Haul things. Haul, 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 haul. There's probably a better way to select all of this, isn't there? Uh, can I select all this? Yes. Oh, there we go. All right. Haul. Everything that's not in the zone right now. Good. We can just get rid of some of this stuff. Just to make things a little bit easier. I'll probably put up some barbed wire in this general area just to slow people down so we can take a few pot shots at them. And we can try doing the same deadfall trap thing with these corridors. That's one of the reasons I'm building them the way that we are. If it works, hey, awesome. That said, we haven't had a chance to test any of it because no one's come through here. They either went around it, or they tried sapping their way into my base. Which I definitely don't appreciate. So, that's actually something we could do. If you want to de disincentivize the AI, is add several layers of walls along here. Which is very wasteful, but it would work. And they would calculate it as saying, okay, maybe it's not worth sapping into there. It would take too long. We will risk the traps. Which is what I would obviously prefer that they do. So if I had an abundance of materials, that's something I would consider. But at least for the time being, we're just going to have to live without it. What are you doing, Albert? Where are you going and what are you doing? I feel like you haven't been very helpful today. He went right back to bed. He came out here. It's like, you know what? I forgot something. I wanted more sleep. And he just goes right back in there. All right, fine, whatever. They were apparently up late last night. No one wants to know what they were doing, but, uh, there you go. Good job with those limestone walls, Sarai. At least you're helpful. You know, give me, give me some time and I might swing around to this whole misandry thing. Albert does seem worthless, doesn't he? Yes, he does. Mostly women in my group, and they're all very competent. Hmm. Kind of wonder if we should mine some of this area out, just kind of create, like, a little bridge. You know, just people able to get around here a tiny bit faster. Shortcut. Could be helpful. But again, I think security has to come first, above all else. Let's see. Can we try getting rid of some of these sandstone chunks? And some of this slate. There you go. Just go ahead and say, haul all of it. Um, I might want to expand the storage area a tiny bit down here. So we will do that. Zone area. Stockpile zone. Something like this is probably fine. There we go. Not that hauling is an absolutely high priority, but... You know, if you guys got nothing better to do, aside from, like, chopping down the trees that I told you to get, do a long dang time ago... Which, also, why is no one chopping down the trees? I need some wood, but nobody's doing it. Let's order some more plant cutting. There you go. There's quite a few trees out here. Is nobody assigned to that? Let's go to look at work. Plant cut. Snappy's pretty high. Let's go ahead and set everyone a little bit higher on that now. 
Um, Sarah, I'd like you to craft a lot of extra chunks. Those blocks could be pretty useful to me. There we go. Finally getting some wood. All right, we're, we're flooring this area off, or sorry, roofing this area off, and now we're done. We could add in some flooring, and that's probably a good idea. Let's do that now. Wood floor. Gonna need a lot more wood, but oh well. Uh, we'll get some uh, power set up over here like so. And we'll need to get some lighting, I think. Miscellaneous? No. Furniture. There you go. Standing light. Place you here. And production. We can create a drug lab. Perfect. Again, cue the uh, Breaking Bad references or something like that. I don't know. We'll place one there. In a corner. It's a wide open space, but you never know how much space you're going to need for some small stockpiles. We'll also be able to put in things like a basic manager desk, prosthetics workbench. Machining table is something we still need to get, so... Yeah, there's, there, there's, we'll, we'll take up the space eventually, I'm fairly confident. But yeah. Alright, more workspace. I like it. Let's see... Mm. We're going to need a lot more wood before that happens. Okay, so the walls are basically done at this point. So, I mean, there's a little bit more limestone to go. Do we have any more up here? Oh, we used it all up. Oh. Well, that's going to be a problem. Do we use up all the marble and stuff here? Um, we have some slates. We have some marble, but we're completely out of limestone. So what we have to do then is cancel all of these and replace it with, let's just say, slate. Slate's probably fine. I mean, it's going to mix, mix match a little bit, and eh, it's kind of ugly, but whatever. If it works, it works. We'll finish the wall. Place down some doors. Of course, we need a lot more wood for that to work. Are these trees ever going to be done? 99% grown. We're so close to harvesting the trees. An exotic goods trader. Nice. Trade ship is passing nearby. All right, tomorrow morning then, uh, Fox, I will have you come out here and contact them. Maybe they are interested in thrombo horns. It is a true trophy. Hard to get. Priceless in most markets. He's exotic. Maybe he'll like one. And if so... Actually, I don't know what I could get from him. What can an exotic trader give me besides, like, bionics and stuff? We're gonna find out as soon as Fox wakes up and has her breakfast. Which will be any second now. She's just carrying a meal on her. She left her food in her bed, and she's like, Alright, I'm awake. Let's go to the table and eat. I mean, most people go to the kitchen, but you couldn't be bothered, clearly. Alright, we could get pearls. I have no idea what I would do with that. Luciferium. You know, it almost is worth gathering the Luciferium so I can sell it right now, because it's pretty cheap. Oh, sorry. It's worth a lot. You know what? Yes. Take the Luci... No, wait. I want you to haul it. I don't want you to... No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. I don't want it forbidden. Fox, you are hauling the Luciferium. Do not take the drugs. Haul the drugs. Thank you. Okay, that's an important distinction. That could have gone very badly very quickly there. I would have sent a terrible message to the kids on YouTube, and I would have gotten demonetized! No, it's fine. Um, alright, Fox, go back here. We're gonna try to sell off those drugs. Look, I, I, don't, I don't take drugs myself. I just sell them, okay? It's actually not worth as much as I thought it would be. Whatever, sell it anyway. It's a little bit of extra silver that I can use. Gazelle? We could buy a gazelle. Or an alpha beaver. Yeah, I think I'll pass on that. Components are a little overpriced. Glitter World Medicine. Too expensive. Flakes? A flaky substance that can be smoked to induce a short but powerful euphoric state. Huh. Lots of drugs. Not worth a ton. I'm wondering if maybe uh, making drugs is a bad idea. Psychic Soothe Pulsar. Interesting. Advanced Bionic Ear. These are very expensive. Some gold that I can't use. But... But, 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 the Thrombo Horn is worth plenty of silver. I'll go ahead and sell that, and maybe in the future somebody comes along that uh, has goods that I actually want, and I can buy it then. Alright, so you really have nothing that I want, though. It's kind of a shame, honestly. An exoskeleton suit. A high-tech device made of two components, a light skeletal structure, to relieve the back, and servo motors to make sure the user's stronger. Increases their manipulation. Very expensive. Increases their movement, too. You can imagine how useful that would be. I'm curious what this Alpha Poly stuff is, though. I mean, look at that. 25,000 silver for this. This work bears an illustration of a smoky politician wearing a shoe. A personified depiction of chaos sits in the distance while the romantic style of the central scene classes with a neoclassical depiction of the background. Huh. That's, um... 
That sounds very profound and everything, but still. All right, we're going to accept this and just go ahead and get 1,500 extra silver. Thank you very much. What will I do with it? I don't know, but I'm sure we'll find a use for it. In the meantime, thrombo horns and stuff, I don't have any use for no matter what. All right, we're getting that power set up. Nice. Uh, chopping down the trees, getting some extra wood, laying down some flooring. Excellent. Um, what else do we need, realistically, though? What did you just do? You just killed a random Ibex. Well, why did you kill an Ibex? I don't think I told you to kill an Ibex. Did the did the ward kill an Ibex and we're just collecting its meat? I have no idea. Look at all the steel just sitting over here that no one's doing. You know, there is a mod that's out there that I probably should have grabbed before I started this. It's too late now, obviously. We found that out. But what I probably should have done is grabbed the um, wall you're up mod. Okay, can you please just continue hauling? Yeah, so you can carry way more than that. There's a while you're up mod, which basically says, while you're out doing something, if there is a hauling job on the way back, they'll do it. Which is a much needed AI change, in my personal opinion. They should have done that. So, the oak trees here are ready to harvest. Finally, a lot of decent wood that we'll be able to use for something. I'm curious to see what kind of a... What kind of a harvest we receive, but for now, they seem to be focusing on the stuff outside, which is probably okay. Not a big deal. Just go ahead and, you know, keep doing what you're doing. Drug lab's done. Nice. What can we do with it? Add a bill. None. There is nothing we can do. We made a drug lab and no one knows how to use it. Apparently we have to research that stuff first. Okay. Um. I kind of figured we'd be allowed to at least make some smoke leaf. Carpet making, brewing. Devil strand, passive cooler, pemmican. Psychite, wake up. Wake up is a drug. Basic mapping software, terrain rehabilitation, blah, 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 blah. Smoke pop belts. Well, that doesn't sound like what I want, but it sounds cool anyway. Aquaculture? Geothermal, moisture pump, blah, blah, blah. Huh. Well, it's not over here. I guess maybe you don't need a drug lab in order to make... I guess you don't need a drug lab in order to make um, smoke leaf joints? Let's see, is there a way to do this? Oh, it can be rolled at a crafting spot. Well, is there like a crafting table I can do? I have to use the weird little crafting spot? All right, if you insist. Let's go to, uh, is it furniture? No, production is what we need. Crafting spot right here. I guess we'll place it in the corner. And add in a bill and say you can make smoke leaf joints. Do forever. Anytime we have some smoke leaf, make it into a joint. Actually, let's do uh, let's be a little bit more limited there. Because I think if I make a bunch of smoke leaf joints, that sounds all good, but then they'll probably just go smoke the crap out of it. Is there actually, let's see, restrict? No, hang on. Medical. There's a way. Manager? There is a way to restrict assign drug policies. Social drugs. No drugs, no drugs, no drugs, no drugs. There we go. Okay, now you can make the smoke leaf, and they're not supposed to smoke any of the product. Not supposed to. Will they obey that rule? I mean, I wouldn't put it past them to defy me. I'm not sure that I'd listen to me either, besides the fact that I'm some sort of benevolent demigod over here that's directing their actions. But besides that, sure, why not? History is rife with uh, humans defying their gods. So, this, this shouldn't be any different, really. What we really ought to consider doing is hauling some of this crap out of here, too. A lot of this stuff is going to waste because no one's doing anything. An escape pod! Uh, landed right in my base. Erin, the patient! A female space refugee. She's terrible. She's not good at pretty much anything. Hmm. She's also 63 years old, and she has an old gunshot, and she's been stabbed, apparently. Oh, I don't know if I could be bothered to save her. Um, she's in shock due to pain. I, I think we just let her go. She's not really worth it. I mean, the thing we could do is imprison her and then sell her as a slave. But that tends to upset everybody for reasons that I think you'll understand. So, But, surprisingly, it's not nearly as bad on their mood if we just, you know, leave her on the ground to die. That is the uh, weird moral stance of RimWorld. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but it's what you gotta work with. Alright, since you guys aren't hauling any of this crap, I think I'm going to have to tell you to do it all manually. 
So that's exactly what I'm going to do. As soon as you guys wake up, I'm going to tell you all to grab this crap. Cloth pants, bowler, duster, clubs, go juice. Fox, go haul the go juice. Don't inject it. That's also a drug. Sarai, grab the club. Snappy, um, grab the alpaca t-shirt, I guess. Albert, grab the duster. I don't know, there's just a lot of stuff that's decaying out here in the rain for no good reason. Should have grabbed all of that a long time ago, honestly. Okay, some freebies we'll be able to sell off eventually, or maybe deconstruct into useful materials. Uh, Fox, gather that. And Sarai, as soon as you're done with the meal, go gather this. Or not. Oh, that's reserved by Fox, never mind. This one, the bowler hat. Perfect. Albert. I mean, the Molotov cocktails could become useful someday. Who even knows? Also, there's like 34 silver just sitting over here for no good reason. Grab the silver. I hate having to micromanage them this much, but... Since they don't seem to be doing anything intelligent... Uh-oh, Fox is starving. Okay, Fox, I'm sorry for telling you to go pick up the hat. Go have some breakfast first. Wine, wine, wine. Wasn't that big of a deal. All right. Fox, now please go pick up this. Sarai, go pick up... They couldn't have grabbed both Molotov cocktails at the same time. That's too much to ask for. Good grief. Synth thread jackets and stuff dusters, I'm sorry to say. There we go. It's all worth something. To somebody, eventually. You never know. You never know. Okay, we'll try that again. Albert, grab. Fox, grab. Snappy, grab. Sarai, Grab. Free silver is free silver after all. Okay. So we managed to finish up the walls, I think, with maybe a small exception down here, but they should be able to work on that pretty soon. So what we probably should do then is start setting up some security. And that includes things like barbed wire using some steel. And I guess I'll go ahead and place a little bit kind of along here, maybe a couple of rows. Something kind of like that, you know, since they're going to come running out this direction. That could be worth something. Then we'll set up some sandbags. Let's say here in the middle. How much How much reach do you have? Not a lot. Okay, maybe we want to set you up like over here. Set up a couple of sandbags, something like this. Set up a turret like so. And then set up a turret over here with some sandbags to protect it, stuff like that. These are the sort of things that I want to do. But it's going to take us a heck of a lot more uh, steel to make that work. So, going to take some time, but at least we can get some proper defenses up and running. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If so, then be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.